my viewer my name is Martha Soipan and welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for always tuning in you that have not subscribed kindly hit that, subs that subscribe button and also press the notification bell so that every time I upload a new video you'll be notified and you'll be able to view comment and share once again i want to welcome you to another episode and today because of the views the comments you've been telling me about today i have a professional here to also educate us and to talk to us how to overcome trauma in all the situations that we're going in be it viol domestic violence uh, child abuse sexual abuse any mental problem that you're going through she's here to help us and to take us through on how you can overcome it because most of us are not in a position either uh, to see a therapist to see a counselor due because of money but through the whatever she's going to help us she's going to educate you and me on how you can overcome it you yourself without further ado let me allow her introduce herself Welcome to my channel, Madam Anastasia. Thank you very and much. And thank you so much for honoring our invitation mm -hmm. within a very short period of time and giving us this platform. Mm. Kindly say hi to our viewers, introduce mm. yourself, mm. and we go straight to the point. Thank you very much. My name is Anastasia Kehwaga. I am a counselor, psychologist. I'm also a pastor. My husband and I pastor a church called Divine Glory Church, Kayole Masiba. And I am also an author. I've written two books, one value of self-identity and another one on parenting. And today um, I feel honored to be in this platform, welcoming me to your YouTube. Haribo. I appreciate mm -hmm. and you're doing a good job. Thank you. We're going to talk about childhood trauma. Mm -hmm. And when you talk about childhood trauma, mm -hmm. parenting is also there. Mm -hmm. So what is childhood trauma? Childhood trauma, the experiences a child goes through, especially at an early stage, mm -hmm. we call them the formative years. And the mm -hmm. formative years is between the zero to five. They build who you become in future. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, how does a, 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 an individual develop childhood trauma mm -hmm. it is because of the experiences that they go through as an individual mm -hmm. number one mm -hmm. abandonment maybe you're born and brought up mm -hmm. by I mean maybe you're born and due to issues maybe you're not never brought up by your mom mm -hmm. or your two parents mm -hmm. and therefore you face challenges along life mm -hmm. and you get a blueprint of yourself like you never affirmed by anybody mm -hmm. you never appreciated mm -hmm. I mean your self-esteem now starts undoing itself. Okay. You become, as you grow up, mm -hmm. because of the, the trauma that you went through, mm -hmm. trauma is that, that pain. You know, we never notice pain. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, when we talk about mental health, nobody notices the pain, but it's within. So when you talk about childhood trauma, mm -hmm. it is that pain that the child picked the abandonment. Is there anybody who bothered about a child being abandoned? Mm -hmm. Like you said, you are you're, you're brought up by your mom, mm -hmm. not by your mom, yeah. by your grandma, yeah. and your mom left you mm -hmm. at two years. Mm -hmm. It was unconscious move that she did, mm -hmm. but she didn't know what she was doing to you. Mm -hmm. So as you're growing up, growing up without no significant figure mm -hmm. and with so many questions, mm -hmm. even asking where is your dad? Yeah. Is there anybody who ever explained to mm -hmm. you about your dad? Mm -hmm. It's a silent rule, mm -hmm. especially in the African parenting, mm -hmm. whereby at a Jua too, mm -hmm. around the line, she will find her way, but how does a child find her way? Mm -hmm. So what happens with then a child, mm -hmm. the, the blueprint that they pick mm -hmm. is, I am unloved, mm -hmm. because when the mother abandons you, yeah. what is that? You feel You're unloved, rejected. you feel rejected, yeah. you feel they never needed you, mm -hmm. you Abandoned. feel you're, you're a problem to mm -hmm. them, yeah. or maybe if it was a mother, and th there was no father, mm -hmm. you may feel like you're the reason as to why your dad never accepted your mom, mm -hmm. or you may feel like you spoiled there, the nature yeah. of your mom maybe mm. she was so beautiful and she never again after giving birth to you she never, she never appreciated yes you. appreciated yeah. you mm -hmm. and she, she also never got an opportunity to go to the market again yeah and therefore you ask yourself so many questions but unfortunately is there anybody who answers no, no one is there to answer yeah. and therefore Martha, i'm here to let you know the childhood trauma has affected many people mm -hmm. because you've already formed a blueprint i am rejected i 
I am not loved, I'm not worth, I don't belong also. Mm. Even if you're taken to your, ch to your grandma, mm. who, who, who did you belong to? You're a child in the society because grandma, it's a, it, it, she's also parenting other people mm. and you're the second generation to her. Mm. Therefore, your mom felt that going to look for a work, which is a good thing, mm -hmm. it was a priority. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, this is what I tell myself as a parent, mm -hmm. and I tell other parents, your priority is bringing up a child in the right way. And your presence is 100% required by the child. Whether we are going to work or not, we need to ask yourself, who is the priority? And the priority, if you're a mother, if you're a father, it's your child. Mm -hmm. And therefore, childhood trauma is picked by the child. Okay. As they grow up, it continues, the pain continue increasing, mm -hmm. continue increasing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, do you ever share? No. You never get to share. Yeah. But today you can share because yes. now you understand. Yes. So nobody, you share with nobody. Yeah. So the mess that was done, mm -hmm. it's never corrected by anyone. Mm -hmm. And because the mess has not been corrected, so we move to another trouble. By the time you're approaching the preteen, or the adolescent stage between the 12 and 19, you are there now asking myself, now I'm starting to find path of my life. Unfortunately, because you're trying to find path of my life, I was never accepted in this family. Mm. I was abandoned. Mm -hmm. I was rejected. Mm -hmm. My parents were never there. Yes. And therefore, I'm mentally to another world whereby I'm a be you're a beautiful girl mm -hmm. and you have started, people have started eyeing you yeah. and you try to get a world elsewhere. Mm -hmm. And that is how you get to join the peer influence, where you belong. Every person is looking for a sense of belonging. Mm -hmm. And because you're never accepted there mm -hmm. unconsciously, mm -hmm. you're looking for a sense of belonging elsewhere. Yeah. And that is how what when I say manga, eh, we stand up as a kwa kichwa ngumu. Mm -hmm. By the time you are, you've become kichwa ngumu, mm -hmm. now where were you already? The, you're still growing and you're still building up. You know, the shape you're is building up. Yourself. Yes, you're trying to find yourself yeah. because you have something we call identity crisis. You see the formative years. So this identity crisis starts from the word go. There, yes. between the age of two and five. Yes. Mm -hmm. There is there is not even z z three to five. Uh -huh. It's between zero, zero to, to five. five. By the way, rejection and abandonment starts in the, in the womb, mm -hmm. since conception. The words that your mom used to speak, the environment that if it was a hostile environment, mm -hmm. if you live in a noisy place and you're, you, you're pregnant, a child picks, they're able to pick. They pick rejections. Maybe sometimes your mom said, oh, you know, I wish I never gave, I wish I never conceived this woman, baby. Mm -hmm. I wish I aborted. You see, mm -hmm. those are the words that they speak. Mm -hmm. And maybe even her, she was subjected to a lot of stress yeah. and pressure. Mm -hmm. So the, your mother is hurting, and then she's bringing, she's breeding another generation sure. of mother mm -hmm. who are also breeding mm -hmm. and trying to find a space somewhere. Mm. Unfortunately, nobody has told you that you need to heal first because you're never subjected to a healing process. Very true. So because you never got healed, it will continue building itself. It's like a software that is downloaded within you mm -hmm. that I'm rejected, I'm not worth, mm -hmm. I am not right. I don't belong, mm -hmm. I will add up to nothing. Mm -hmm. Nobody told you. By the way, let me ask mother, as you're growing up, is there anybody who told you that you're beautiful? No. No. Is there anybody who told you that you can make it in life? No. Is there anybody who told you that you matter? No. Is there anybody who told you that you belong? You see, no. you just found yourself growing. Yes. And that is how we are doing as parents. A mess that we are creating to an entire generation. We are not speaking <laughs> blessings and good words to our children. No, we are not. Why? This, we have already picked stress from the environment. Mm. And maybe when your grandma was left with you, no, it's good to be honest. Yeah. Maybe the only thing that she saw in you, you're a sort of investment mm. because your mom was working away mm. from home. Mm. So you became a source of investment mm. for her mm. because when your mom is away, she's sending some money. Mm. So what an ikaena yeye, because I will not be getting the source of income that I get from the mother. Mm -hmm. And therefore, you're just there. Mm -hmm. And you, it's, it's, it's a misuse. You know, when the purpose of something has not been directed to the right form, mm -hmm. it is called misuse. Mm -hmm. That is called misuse. Mm -hmm. And therefore, as you continue growing, you continue growing, you continue growing, the pain is still growing. 
the pain is still growing, the rejection is still growing, mm. the abandonment is still growing, mm. you're still feeling, okay, I am here, but where do I belong? Mm -hmm. Like the way you said, what is your source? Mm. If you don't you know your father, who is your identity? Mm. You get, mm. why on earth am I here? Yeah. And those questions start ringing a bell. Yeah. Then you continue up to teenage. Mm. When you get to the teenage, you develop an identity crisis. Mm -hmm. It's either you get an identity, you know, I, oh, this is who I am, this is the purpose I'm going to live, who am I, this is the purpose I'm going to live for, and this is the direction I'm going to make. Mm. And when you understand, when you develop an identity as a teenager, now you're able to, you also understand your purpose on earth. Mm. Number three, you also make the right choices and when you make the right choices they also guide your decision in life mm -hmm. and when they guide your decision in life they also decide your success or failure mm -hmm. so from your story because i have heard it mm -hmm. from your story your childhood contributed to even to the marriage why at the childhood at the, at the childhood you are pained you're yeah. not happy yeah. you know you never grew up happy yes. but you put in a, you put on a mask yeah. that it's okay mm. i'll be fine mm. but nobody understood you very true nobody get got to know that you're going through pain very true. so as you go to teenage that is a time you know the boy starts eyeing you you're attractive and the body the biological crock is still crocking mm. that are more i mean somebody has told me i'm beautiful yes yeah. what do they do because you're vulnerable you know inside you you've not been built well mm. you're very vulnerable mm. so everybody can talk to you tell you Martha you're beautiful not that you're beautiful no your heart because you're hurting mm. wants to hear those words mm. and you can hear those words from anybody yeah and sometimes people don't mean that yeah. they don't mean what they say they just want to take advantage of very you. true yes yeah. so they and use the words that they know they'll draw themselves closer to you yes oh they God. use enticing words yeah not that them they are not aware mm -hmm. no but everybody who wants to miss you somebody mm -hmm. they just want a soft heart a soft spot and you had a soft spot mm -hmm. why because you had childhood issues mm -hmm. you are not healed we call them the ACE, -A -C -A -S -C -A. Mm -hmm. so those childhood issues mm -hmm. when they have not been dealt with mm -hmm. you become vulnerable you're fragile you're fragile and everybody who speaks a word to you mm. you know you're loved that word leans a bell who was supposed to tell you that you're loved your mom mm. or your dad yeah. were they there no, no absent figures yeah. who was supposed to tell you that you can make it in life Them. nobody else apart from the parents yes. were they there no oh. so here comes somebody who is uh, whom you've got an attraction not that you are attracted to them mm. sometimes love is bright mm. because it hits the bright spot of your life mm. and that bright spot of your life is your vulnerable space which is empty mm. you grow up Martha and many other mm. you grow up with a vacuum a vacuum of wanting to be loved a vacuum of wanting to be appreciated a vacuum of wanting to belong Unfortunately, it was never filled by anybody. So it, there was a gap. Mm. By the time you're forming yourself to develop an identity, mm. you have a crisis. So everybody can fill up. You remember year 2020? Mm -hmm. That is a year during the COVID season. Mm -hmm. That is a year when I recorded very many teens pregnant. Yes. Why? I Did I, you ever ask yourself no, the question? No, no. Yes. Because there was idleness and there was, the, 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 I mean, People got an opportunity now to explore life, mm -hmm. especially the teenagers. Mm -hmm. And as they were exploring life, mm -hmm. some of the vulnerable teenagers, mm -hmm. they got somebody like, we're not saying that Buddha Buddha riders are bad, mm -hmm. but they got somebody like that. Mm -hmm. The pregnancies that we got in the year 2020, mm -hmm. about 33, more than 33,000, mm -hmm. because 33 is what the statistic recorded. Yes. But there are some that were never recorded. Yes. Why? Because those people they got pregnant by somebody who told them let me give you a ride that is a boda boda rider mm -hmm. let me buy you chips oh, yes a plate of chips and soda mm -hmm. or even chips we too mm -hmm. yes so that somebody feels wow mm -hmm. finally i've so, gotten somebody who, who loves appreciates me. Yeah, who appreciates mm -hmm. me and they can even go ahead and use their 50 bob yes because of i me. fall for them mm -hmm. then other people got even a, 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 a conductor 
Yeah. Let me give you a ride. Yeah, a lot. Others, of others were just fair. bought for a lollipop. Yes. Not even a flower for Valentine. Oh a lollipop. Are you getting? Yeah. That is the generation we have. Mm -hmm. People who are crying for help. Mm -hmm. People who are wounded. Mm -hmm. People who are hurting. Mm -hmm. And people who are asking who can. They, they, they have an empty space. Mm -hmm. And it's looking for. A, a vacuum that needs somebody to fill in. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, nature's abo nature abhors vacuum. Haitakagi mm -hmm. space. Uh -uh. So what will happen? I just give in. By the time you give in to the first person, mm -hmm. you've already opened another another vacuum. Mm -hmm. We call it soul tie. You have sex with this one, sex number two, sex number three. Mm -hmm. There's still a part of you. The space that you thought it was a vacuum, mm -hmm. somebody has stolen a part of you. Mm -hmm. And now you get confused. <laughs> By the time you now you start settling at 19 or 20, mm -hmm. you settle with the wrong person. Why? You're confused. That is what we call identity crisis. You don't even know what or love sometimes, is. no, you don't know. Nobody ever told you what love was. And that is why I encourage parents. Please remind our, our children that they care, they matter, no matter the matter. Also, equate your time. Time for a child, time. You see the way we are seated here. Mm. I'm giving you time because I'm, I respect you. And we also respect our audience yeah. because we don't want them to be respected. Yeah. Even a child, they equate time to love. It's not the, the goody goody things that you give, mm -hmm. it's not the clothes that they wear, mm -hmm. it's not a good list wash that you buy them. No, they want, if my mom really loves me, mm -hmm. does she create time for me? Mm, very true. Even you, if somebody loves you, does he create time for you? It's not a hit and learn game. Mm -hmm. Parenting is not a hit and learn game. Mm -hmm. And that is where the problem is. Mm -hmm. That is why I told you I've written a book on parenting. Mm -hmm. Where have we gone long? Mm -hmm. How can we rescue this generation? Mm -hmm. Why is it that it is not working out? Mm -hmm. Do you know, I did a, few, a, 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 a research. When my pa our parents, the, our generation, mm -hmm. when my parents were bringing us up, mm -hmm. our dads were away for work. Mm -hmm. But my mom, I can never count a day that we slept home without our mother. They were present. Though they were stressed with work, taking care of cows, but always when your, your mom was present, mm. the dad maybe could have been away. Yeah. But I remember, I never slept home without my mom. And during the weekends, at Akama we went to do manual work in the shamba. Mm. She was there with us. She trained me how to milk. Mm -hmm. She trained me how to clean the house. She trained me everything. So mm -hmm. they were there. Mm -hmm. That is an advantage, mm -hmm. even if they were, even, even if they never went to school. Yes. There is something they taught us, character. Yeah, very Today I'm who you, I am mm -hmm. because of who my mom was. Mm -hmm. How does it feel for you? Who grew up without a mother? Mm -hmm. What character traits did you pick? Mm -hmm. But the world judges you. Ati huyu hata jui kuvaa, huyu anaindaga, ameinua migu. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when you're... When yeah, you, the society judges a lot. Judges a lot. Yeah. Why? Because they don't know you're ailing, mm -hmm. they don't know you're hurting, mm -hmm. they don't know you're breeding from... It's like, Niki kuguza tu hivi, nani, Martha. Mm -hmm. It's like, you're oozing. Mm -hmm. Nimeguza kidoda. Mm -hmm. Imeanza, you start oozing, mm -hmm. and you're oozing, you're breeding. Mm -hmm. And what is happening to you? You're going to raise another generation of a, a wounded lace. Mm. We need to heal this generation. Healing a wounded generation. Who is going to heal it? It is you and I mm -hmm. creating awareness yeah. by giving them inf information. Mm. What happens to people who have gone through childhood trauma? Mm. Number one, they're vulnerable. That vulnerability. And that uh, vulnerability does something else. It creates an empty space, a vacuum. Every time I'm buying for acceptance. Every time. Have you ever seen people who are very agreeable? Yeah, you agree on everything you're told. Uh -huh. I totally agree with you. You agree on anything, uh -huh. you do anything, even uh -huh. if you're not in a position. You you're always the available yeah, one. You're, yeah, yeah, you're always uh -huh. available. The available one. Mm. Do you know that is not, that is not a, a good character? It means sometimes you need to be assertive. Say, yes. Martha, yes. Will you be available to be there? No, my program can't allow. A no is also an answer. And that shows affirmative action on the side of the person. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, people who are hunting and people who have gone through childhood trauma, mm -hmm. they buy acceptance, they are agreeable, they are favorable and affordable.
hawajuagi value yao because who mattered to tell you that you are valuable nobody oh, today i told you you remember when I, we met yeah, yeah. It, 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 is there anybody who ever told you that Martha, you're beautiful i'm here to confirm to you mm -hmm. that you're very beautiful thank you so much your smile oh my goodness thank you so much yes I'm imagine humbled. if your mom told you like that i'm sure by the time the person who came, the first person who came to your life mm. and abused you i mean and entered you into trouble mm. at a point mm. they could have never have gotten a chance very true why because you could have told them thank you i'm already aware mm. but that is an affirmative mm. action on the side of a person mm. but because you you're also waiting you know who, who doesn't want to be appreciated no, but who doesn't want to be feel loved and even to be given that opportunity to feel I'm important. I like that. Who doesn't want to be given an opportunity to feel that they are important? Yes. A sense of importance. Yes. So we have said number one, people who are who have gone through childhood trauma, mm -hmm. they are vulnerable. Yes. They are in identity crisis. Yes. They never find themselves. Yes. And because they never find themselves, mm. they never get to find their purpose. They're still hanging. They're still hanging. That is how we want to amegusa hii. Ameenda kwa hii kazi unasikia mtu tu ame hata ame, amefuta kazi mm. because akienda huko because they, they still have that rejection mm. they pick people who reject them very fast na sisi tu wana rejectiwa mm. ah, ah, i'm just waiting tu aniambia kwamba mimi si mzuri ama boss aniambia sijafanya kazi vizuri anajiambia hata yes. nimeishi nimejua yes I, I, you know it's like the boss has confirmed mm. or you get to a, with a boyfriend mm. who told you, to you that they love you and all of a sudden they tell you wewe ni bule you're foolish yes. you know that you are yes. you're useless I didn't know what type of a woman you are. Good help to me. Yes, you're not worth. You know the U words. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the U words, Kidogo. Come on, which one? You're useless. You're useless. You can't help me. Yes. You're not worth it. Uh -huh. I don't. I, you good don't belong to my you're life. Good. You got. You can imagine. Yeah, you're not my standard. Uh -huh. Well, how does that make you feel? Oh my God. Your self-esteem goes low. You feel like you need to go in a dark room and yes. hide yourself there uh -huh. that nobody will ever see you because you don't even trust your own self. Yes. Yes. The self-esteem is very low. If somebody went through the, the childhood trauma, mm -hmm. their worth goes down. Why? There is nobody who valued them. So they never build on their value. Mm. I told you I grew up in the village mm -hmm. and I saw my mom every day. Mm -hmm. I want to thank God because of my mom. She's called one boy. Appreciate her. Mommy, I appreciate you. Where when you are guvu. Hata kama haukusoma, ukafikia ile kiwango sisi tumefika. Where when you are maana. Kwa nini? She taught us character. Mm -hmm. Especially the presence. Hata mm hachana -hmm. na hizo vitu zingine. Mm -hmm. You know, I saw my mom. Hata kama aliponda ile mokimo. Mm -hmm. Ile chakula ya kuchanganya. Mm -hmm. I saw her struggling for us. Mm -hmm. I remember one time. My mom, I was going to secondary school, and when I was going to secondary school, there was no money mm -hmm. even for bus fare. Mm -hmm. The fees was even an issue. Mm -hmm. So my mom carried three banana, zile mikomba ya mandizi tatu, and she took them to kwa soko. Mm -hmm. Wakati alipeleka kwa soko, mm -hmm. mimi na mimi na patana na yeye, ananipatia ile, ile pesa ya kupanda gali ya natembea migu. Na natembea migu, akiwa mebeba, Izo, mandizi. Oh you know those mikombas yes, are mandizi? Yes, three of them. After Nimefika town, guess what? I respect my mother so much.